All right, guys. So right now, um, I don't really have nothing going on, but I'm riding my mini bike. It's starting to get warmer out, so I might as well just do a little video. As you guys saw, I got a little burrito made, so I'm just enjoying this on this bench right now. Buy some water. This mini bike used to have a, a 212, but I switched it over. I'm gonna use that 212 that this had. So I switched it over to a 196 that I had laying around. Um, I used to have a trumpet exhaust that came out through the middle. I just put this exhaust. And with this setup, it like pops a lot, but it doesn't go as fast, but it's a cool little cruiser. So now with this bike, uh, this is just a random clip that I'm gonna add. So I got this bike for really cheap. Uh, it came with two engines. One was a block and one was a not working engine. Um, all the parts from the not working engine, I put it to the block and that's the result of it. It is a 196cc, it is ungoverned. It has a jetted carburetor, header pipe, um, torque converter, 10 tooth, and in the rear, I am trying to put this 40 tooth on here. So this is the other block that came with um, that red mini bike. So now it's just a block block. There's nothing other than on this side. Uh, I have it open because I am trying to ungovern it. Uh, if I do do that, before I, I post this video, I will add clips of that onto this video. But this is a big tire bike. That's what it is. It's a Coleman CT200U. So that's the size difference. It looks like it is gonna fit. I did get this broken on Amazon. It was like 35, $38. That's the 40 tooth, black one, and the silver one, that's the 50 tooth. So that's how the, the rear sprocket looks. There's a little bit of oil because I'm getting the chain ready. But since it is a big tire and it does have a torque converter with a smaller sprocket in the rear, I am hoping for higher high speeds, at least 30, 45, 50 at least. I was about to say 30, but that's what they go stock. So hopefully around the 45, 50 range. All right, so we got everything mounted. There's a torque converter. There's a new sprocket and there's a new chain. 
It's pretty tight. That was the first startup. Uh, it just turned off. So this bike is pretty much ready to go. Um, it did end up turning off because it didn't have no gas. Uh, I just ended up filling up the tank like halfway, and pulled it, first pull started, did the choke, stayed on. Um, even wants to like pull a little bit, so I think the, the little throttle screw might be a little too high. But um, this bike is ready to go. Uh, maybe just a little bit of tightening the, the bolts, like like these and stuff like that. But other than that, it's ready for its first ride. Um, what I am missing, though, is this little arm right here. I'm not missing it. I'm missing more of the little spring. It's just that um, I think I'm going to try to get the whole arm. Uh, I was looking through Facebook and, the, and our little group of these uh, mini bikes, and the guy did end up texting me back uh, that he has one of these for uh, five bucks. So I mean online if I order it it's like 10 to 15 bucks so it's whatever but it is off of a 224 so we're about to go pick that up right now So we're currently filling up on gas right now This is my little truck Right, so we're back home this is the little arm that we ended up getting i already connected everything it's not as fast the response of it going back but it's better than the other one i had so i think this bike is officially ready to ride all right so this is already in the morning Bike clothes. I do sell mini bikes, so the CT200U, uh, I did post it up for sale. Uh, as you guys saw, I was riding it, and it does ride good. Um, the top speed, it is around 40 miles per hour. If anything, it's like 38, but it is around 40 miles per hour, so it's not like what I expected, but it does have a lot, a lot of torque. Um, but I did post it up for sale. Now, I did get some uh, parts from Go Power Sports. I got a rear axle, a front axle, some uh, throttles, two tires, because I'm going to be switching the tires on that one, because that one is also going up for sale. My CC100X, um, that one's going for sale. Because I do want to start building this one here. So this is a frame I do want to start building. Uh, it is stretched. I did like a short on this on my channel also. On this uh, frame. And I also still have this frame. Which I am doing a big block on this frame. Uh, all I need is just the engine. 
But uh, that's why I'm selling these other red bikes. So I can get money to start these. Uh, we're going to call this frame Bones. Since it it is like a, bo like a bone <laughs> skeleton right now. Um, apart from that, I also got another clutch bolt. Just extra. And then we got a torque converter got a torque converter and then finally i got a juggernaut um i also got a billet a billet uh bolt and washer for the torque converter so it could look nice uh this torque converter and the juggernaut i do have a moto moto vox uh frame that I uh, picked up in AZ. Um, it is a big tire Motovox um, frame. So I'm gonna be putting a 212 with this. Um, that's gonna be another video though, right now. So these tires right here are gonna get switched. Uh, these are black wheels with street tires. Um, these tires are gonna go onto this frame. And then those tires are going to go into this frame. Uh, before putting those tires, I do want to add some fenders to this bike. All right, so we did get the front wheel on. Uh, this bike is not going to have front suspension. So there's that on. Uh, in the rear, I couldn't put on. This is the one that came, the rear axle. But it doesn't quite fit. Like it's too short. I'm gonna need one like this one, like the one for the front suspension. Cause that one fits just perfect. Um, so for the rear, I'm gonna have to order one of those. And then we'll already have the spacers and whatnot. All right, so now for front fenders, uh, this is what I'm gonna put on. They're just dirty, but this is the stock um, fender that was on this one. It is black. Thankfully, because since it does have front suspension, I can't use the, the stock fender on this one. I have to use the fender that was on this. I'm going to use on this. So they're both black. Okay, so the front one's on. This is what we got going on to hold the bike. I went ahead and cleaned the, the rear sprocket also. That's the, the rear fender. Back then I couldn't have a fender because of my trumpet exhaust. But now that I got that fender off of this one. And well the rear, rear one came off of this one. So they both like match because they're black. So it looks good. So this axle, how I was saying, um, it wasn't going to fit bones. Well, it's gonna fit bones uh, because um, it was too short, but we actually ended up using that rear axle on this bike, and well, it fit perfectly. Uh, if anything, it's like barely gonna come out, but if it's if it's better, um, so I'm gonna use the one that was on here, cause it, it is longer on bones, so that way I don't have to buy a uh, another. Another axle. I already have the axle and then all the spacers. So it seems like this one's gonna work. That's that new rubber. So that's how the bike looks. Silverish wheels, off road tires, front fender, rear fender. So there's nothing wrong with this bike. I think uh, she's ready for me to just to post it. I am gonna sell it. Well, hopefully it sells.